What's going on YouTube? Rob A here and today we're going to be taking a look at Nerf Zombie Strike Flip Fury. Uh, this is a brandy spanking new Nerf Blaster. Uh, I found this at my local Target today. Uh, and it, it retailed for 20 bucks, which uh, seems not too bad for a, a blaster this size. It is quite large, as you can see. It is a, you know, kind of a six shooter, sort of, but it's got two rotating dual barrels. Um, which is pretty neat. It comes with 12 darts that it can fire all at once. So um, on the back it shows you kind of what goes on here. So you, uh, it's a it's a pull and fire. So you just pull back the uh, the handle to uh, to fire it. Then you pull the trigger. And once you've expended the the barrel here, uh, you pull back the secondary trigger, and it will flip. The, the barrels around uh, to give you a fresh six darts to fire. So I thought that was really, really cool. Mostly I'm interested in this to uh, to paint, <laughs> honestly. Uh, so we're definitely going to do that. But first we're going to do the review for the base weapon. Hopefully it's cool. It certainly looks cool. Uh, I'm going to get it out of the package and we're going to check it out right now. All right, guys, so here is the Zombie Strike Flip Fury. And I keep wanting to call it the Flip Strike because it's Zombie Strike and like every other gun in the line says Strike in the name. Uh, so I want to say Flip Strike, but it's Flip Fury, as you can see, very lightly molded into the uh, cocking mechanism there. Uh, so you got the trigger, the main trigger here, which is very nice, very solid looking. Uh, you have. I, I love the design of this thing. If I had any complaints, it would be this big bar down here. I'm just not a fan of that. It does help to stabilize it, stand it up. Um, but, you know, I think when I paint this guy, I am probably going to just take this off and, you know, just just remove it completely. And I am going to paint this thing because it just needs to be painted. Um, anyway, so as you can see, you get two... Count them two uh, uh, clips, barrels, whatever you want to call these. I have the words in my head, but I can't remember them. I think they're barrels. Um, so anyway, it holds 12 darts all together. You get six in each. And this one, as you can see, is locking. This one is freewheeling. And uh, we'll turn this around so you can see all the nice detailing and zombie stuff that you'll want to remove before you paint this thing. Um, yeah, so uh, I like this weapon, but at the same time, I don't like this weapon. And <laughs> I love how this, this Nerf Blaster looks. I'm just not a big fan of the actual execution of it. And let me just kind of get into that and explain it a little bit. So to fire this guy, here's what you do. You just pull it back and, you know, you're ready to go. And then you fire it off. And then you just do that repeat. And then once you've run out of uh, darts in this drum here, you go ahead and you just pull this trigger. And hi -oh! you're ready to go with a loaded up second drum. And you just, of course pull it and fire just like you normally would and then you can just keep doing that however often you like. Uh, so that is awesome. I really do love that. The only thing that I don't love so much is that they have it so you can actually fire this thing and flip this thing easily with one hand. However, to actually, you know, prime this guy, you've got a, it's a standard, like, pull back, kind of, you know, maverick, strong arm, you know, dull, old-fashioned nerf blaster cocking mechanism. And I think, especially for the Zombie Strike series, I'm not a fan of that. Uh, I loved the hammer shot where you can just pull it back with your thumb and get it done. And I think, I think Zombie Strike especially should kind of focus on weapons that you can fire one-handed or fire quickly. 
uh, without a lot of work, because that's kind of the whole deal, you know, you're fighting these zombies that are chasing you down, whatever. Um, but I think, honestly, like, it, I love the way that this kind of works up here. I just hate how it works back here. I don't like this method anymore. Now that I've seen, like, the hammer shot, I feel kind of spoiled in that regard. Like, I don't like these pull back and, and fire things so much anymore, especially when this seems like one of those things that you've got two barrels here. Obviously, it's so that you can quickly, you know, while in the midst of, you know, fighting or whatever, battling, you can just switch it out and have a fresh, you know, fresh clip, fresh barrel, you know, fresh round of, wet, of bullets. Um, but yet, you know, you're doing that and you're like, bam, you know, bam, <laughs> bam. Bam, and then swoosh, and then, you know, I think it needs to be, I would have liked to have seen it a little more fluid, like, you know, you pull it back with your thumb, and like that, you know, kind of more along the lines of the hammer shot again. Um, overall, it's not bad, it's a nice, I, I especially, I like it more how it looks than how it actually operates, if, if that makes any sense. I think it's, the idea of it is cooler than the actual actual execution. Um, it's not a bad blaster by any stretch, but it is. It's very very large, very cumbersome for what amounts to a limitation of twelve darts. I mean, it's not like you can just pop these out. Like you, you can't just carry these, uh, you know, as ammo on your belt or whatever, and pop them in and out as you go. You're limited to just the 12, and once you fire off the 12, you know, you're carrying this giant weapon that you have to run around and try and find, you know, darts to. So it's it's a little antiquated, I feel, as far as nerf blasters go in that regard as well. So, I mean, it's not terrible, don't get me wrong, but I would have liked to see a little more out of it rather than just the gimmick of, you know, the, the spinning or the rotating barrels and that don't get me wrong that's cool <laughs> i like that a lot as you can see obviously it gets kind of addictive and i'm sorry if that's super loud I, it's super loud for me uh, so i can only imagine it's probably destroying your eardrums for me to do that a million times but let's see if i can do it in like slow motion not there well kind of yeah you can kind of see what's going on there so they come around here and you got all the stuff going on there and then it just clicks right around and locks into place. So really, really neat. Um, but I do wish there was just a little bit more love in the execution there. And as you can see, to, uh, to reload, you got to do the bottom, uh, bottom barrel first. I suppose you could go through the top and just stick them through here. Um, but that's kind of kind of obnoxious. But it does have these two grooves cut out in the sides here, so you can easily access the uh, the darts like that. Um, so yeah, you've got a you got a tactical rail up here at the top as well. Uh, nothing on the bottom, but it would have been nice actually to have a rail on the top and the bottom rather than this big thing. That's I'm not even sure what this is really for. Maybe they just felt that it needed to be I don't know closed off somehow. But eh eh. It's it, it's working for me right now because it's making it very easy to leave this standing on the table while I talk about it. But um, other than that, I mean, it's a cool it's a cool idea. I just really dislike this whole having to you know do that every time you're gonna fire because I feel you know you're kind of kind of just wasting a lot of time and effort there. But. Uh, Overall, it's a, it's a neat concept, and I'm really looking forward to painting it up. I think it's going to look pretty cool once it's done, like a big, you know, kind of, I don't know, like a steampunky sort of revolver of doom kind of thing going on. But, uh, yeah, overall, it's okay. I'm really looking forward to uh, what else Nerf has coming out this year. Uh, I'm seeing a lot of the new stuff trickle in, and I'm starting to pick it up here and there when I can. Um, but, uh, yeah, so definitely stay tuned for that. And, um, 
yeah, I think that's going to do it for this review, guys. And I want to thank you so very much for watching, as always. Uh, like I said, subscribe and stay tuned. I've got more Nerf coming up real soon. Uh, we're going to paint this guy up. I'll probably make it a tutorial uh, because I'm sure there's going to be a lot of springs and other ridiculous things inside this guy, uh, kind of making it maybe a nightmare to take apart, but we'll see. We'll see about that. Uh, in the meantime, thanks again for watching, guys. I really do appreciate it. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.